In this episode, Cabela's staffer Jason Offner takes a group out and crushes a limit of specs from the Cabela's Renegade series layouts. Jason Modine takes his group of three out with one of our local friends and shoots a limit of ducks out of the big bush. I'm Claudio Angaro and I take people hunting. I woke up one day as a 27 year old school teacher and said to myself, I'm gonna build a hunting lodge. That was in 1994. Now I lead my dedicated team of guides for 63 days each fall, exposing my clients to some of the best waterfowl hunting of their lives. Controlled chaos, epic hunts across 5 million huntable acres. We are hired to hunt. In this episode, we have the two Jasons, Jason Offner and Jason Modine, going on two independent hunts, about a week apart. Jason went on a hunt where his ducks didn't show up, Fortunately, he was set up with the Cabela's Renegade Series blinds and a bunch of Silla socks and some dive bomb silhouettes to trick the Speckabellies into absolutely doing it beautifully. He did mention that he probably could have shot another 50 or 60 after they shot their five man limit. And that's a testament to the gear we use today. Jason, on the other hand, chose to use full bodies and an upright willow blind for his duck hunt. And it was amazing how fast and furious those ducks came in. They wanted in, he had them fooled to the point where they were screaming to get in, which made the shooting somewhat challenging. Nonetheless, both of the guys got it done on their respective hunts. We have one job, and our job is to make piles of birds and put smiles on hunters' faces. That's it. Hello? Hello, how's it going? Hey, good, how are you? Good, good. Everything's uh, good over here. Uh, a lot of birds just pulled out. Um, going, uh, they're not roosting in the field so far, so it looks good. Not roosting there? No, not that I can see. We're kind of up on the south end looking down on it right now because I want another, just kind of trying to triangulate where I'm going to pin it. So um, I'm going to head back in there just to double check. But uh, no, everything seems to be going south. Super good stuff. We'll see you for second. All right. See you in a bit. All right. Okay. All right, bye-bye. And that's a wrap. Let's head down and pin it. Looks like we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna probably go with lay, lay downs in the morning layouts. Uh, birds were all over this plateau here, down in the valleys. All right, ready to go for the morning. Should be a good one. When we're out there hunting, whether it's me or the guides, it's serious. There's a lot of pressure on us. Although we're trying to smile and keep things light, Go. as guides, we're feeling intense pressure to get the job done and get it delivered. None of us want to ride back at the end of the day with a group of hunters that's killed one or two birds. It happens, it's happened, it's no fun. Go! The bottom line is our reality becomes the gear and how we use that gear to become successful. My first relationship in the Go. gear side of things, if the truth be known, was with the Benelli's. So ultimately I approached Benelli and I bought 12 Super Black Eagle 2's. Let these ones go through. From that point, uh, it's evolved into a sponsorship relationship that I hope is mutually beneficial. Leave them, leave them. Leave them. Watch it too. So of course, when you're dealing with buying 12 guns, it's a formidable expense. Not only that, but you want something that works all the time, Going on has a good warranty, Going on and two. won't fail. Three, three, four, four. Ready, ready, take one. Spread out, go! Go! I get one! Yeah, gra yeah buddies! Go. Nice! Got them all! The ammunition is one of those things that people tend to skip out on. And it's the, it's the one thing that you should spend the most of your money on. You work so hard putting yourself in a position where that bird is in front of you within 10, 12, 15, or 30 yards, that if you're shooting bad ammo that doesn't do the job, you've wasted all of that other time investment and financial investment getting to that point where you're ready to pull that trigger. And yeah, it's gonna go bang, but when it's out there 30 yards and it doesn't pattern well, or it doesn't have any knockdown power, or the pellets are going too slow down range to do any damage, well, what have you accomplished? 
Okay, crap. Me and you, let's go. We're gonna get this jack off. Let's fast forward 25 or 26 years after me being in the business, but ultimately I needed an ammunition that would be able to shoot those tiny little pintails early in September that come screaming into the decoys, right through those giant 13 pound Canada geese and everything in between. Now, you know what, when those geese come in close, yeah, they're easy to kill. You can shoot those little geese. But when they're 55 yards up and they're drifting over and they're not going to give you a second look, and we say take them, we don't want to cripple a bunch of birds. We want those birds to come down if they're hit. And that's the bottom line. I found the heavy hammer number twos to be the ultimate all-round ammo if you're hunting combo hunts or ducks and geese on the prairies. Ultimately, we don't know what's going to come into those decoys on any given hunt. But more often than not, the birds on the prairies mix. So you'll be hunting mallards with Canada's or mallards with snow geese or pintails and mallards with specks. You never know what's gonna happen. And you never know the ranges that they're gonna present. Let's shoot some ducks. If they show up. So what I've done is I've chosen an ammo that I know that the pellet density will be high enough for even shooting a pintail at 35 or 40 yards. It won't fly through that pattern and if a pellet hits them they're going to go down. The truth is we could have shot another 25. Great day, 5 man limited specs, a few ducks, great morning, congratulations. Oh man, we could have killed like 60. Oh, yeah. I mean, they we didn't get mobbed, right? We didn't we didn't get mobbed, and when they really got broken up, we were getting singles, pairs, fives, juvies, just doing it. So what's interesting about the heavy hammer? Why does it have so much power? I hate to be cliche, but it really does offer the biggest bang for your buck. So within the shot cup, 15% of those number two pellets are made out of bismuth, which is heavier than lead. Now the interesting thing is everything coming out of that shot cup is coming out at 1500 feet per second. If you see a good, the best one out of the bunch, or, yeah. we'll, uh, we might, we're going to put it aside to mount it, okay? okay. They came at us, we took them down! Yeah! yeah. Put that on a cracker. <laughs> As an outfitter, first I choose my equipment, then I see if the sponsors would like to participate in the show that, that allows us to deliver the content to you. Either way, the gear we use is chosen on its ability to suck birds into the decoys, and that ultimately is the end game. Yeah, no kid right in your backyard. That's why I said you could have walked out here. <laughs> yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah. So what we'll do this morning is we're going to do a uh, willow blind. Okay, so I'll bring it out and I'll show you guys what how to set it up. Very, very simple. Um, we got the northwest wind this morning. So these birds should be coming from the lake from the north. Okay, and then uh, so with this northwest wind, we're going to have the big bush shoot uh, pointing this way. So we'll be shooting this way. We could side shoot them. So we'd be facing actually John's place. We'll be facing the south. The only problem with that is there's two puddles on the highway. So those birds come from the lake and they want to puddle before they come out. And we're shooting this way. They might hear us. The, the wind is good. It's going to blow the sound away, but I don't like shooting towards my birds, right? Just in case they decide, we hear you, we know you're there, right? So we'll grab everything out. We'll do the blinds. I'll set the blinds up and I'll get you guys working on the blinds. And then probably John and I will uh, we'll start dealing with the decoys and whatnot. We've got an hour and 15 minutes, so we got quite a bit of time. The ducks have been sleeping in. Like even I watched this hunt yesterday and they never came out till like eight o'clock. They were really late, right? So, but who knows? They're wild birds. They can come out right at first light, right? Who knows? Yeah, we got a really nice wind. All right.
So what we'll do is we'll angle the blinds like this. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the fronts. Yeah, exactly. Just like that. Yeah, perfect. So that one will just leave a little bit of a gap to throw some birds in. Oop. Yeah, perfect. The back, you can just lean them up against the, uh, the back. We won't drill. And the front will drill. I'll get the drill and I can show you what to do there. What we do is we just kind of give it a 3D effect. So we'll drill out front. These doors open, right? So you want to leave them open and then you drill holes, just kind of stagger out front. It gives that 3D effect. You can't drill right next to the front of the blind. You open the blind, it hits the trees, they fall over. The sides you might want to drill. So we'll get one guy doing this. Yeah. Okay. Now in these bundles, there's some spruce boughs. They're above us, right? So if they do fly above us or beside us, they can look down in that blind and, and pick us out. So those spruce boughs, grab them. Before we start putting anything else on, there's straps on these blinds. What we do is you just throw them in the bungees and see how they kind of fold over, right? Yeah. So there should be three per blind. So one on the end, one in the middle. Put those on first and then we'll start with that. Well, good morning. So we're hunting uh, lots of ducks this morning with uh, some bonus geese. Canada's in specs, not a lot, but uh, hopefully we'll get some cracks at them. We're in a barley field. We've got a northwest wind, so we're going to shoot him in the face this morning. Beat out. There's a single. Just leave him. Watch those five way out front. Leave these two. Low on the right. Don't move. Let him come. Coming up the pipe. Get ready. Low, go, low on the right. Straight out. Go, 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 go. Straight out, straight out. On the right. On the right. Good shot. Good shot. Good job, boys. Okay, let's go get those. Take a gun. There's one still walking. Take a gun and some bullets. Good patience, you guys. Good job. Well, you guys got three, right? Okay, let's go fast. Let's bring them in. Throw them in between the blinds. Come in. Get ready. Go, 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 go. You want to run out and grab that one because he's bellied up on the left? Yep. Please. Have a, I didn't have a clear lane. You no, know. that was a tough shot, but we had to go on them. No, that's, that's fine, gonna, yeah. They weren't going to do it. Those were those. I figured those guys, Yeah. I'm not going to shoot over the, into the no. barrel. i got to fix this tree. It's not... <laughs> guys, right above us, kind of behind us. Ready? Go, behind us, above us. Behind us, above us. Go, 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 get out. Oh, he's a runner. Oh, on the right, you guys don't move, don't move. They're going to swing in behind. Just don't move. They'll always swing out front. Okay, they're coming out front. They're high still, but they're doing it. Leave these two single. Okay, get ready. There's a flock coming right up the pipe. Leave the two. Leave the two. Watch the five in the back. On the left, on the left, they should curl to the right. Here they come on the right. Go, kill them straight out. Three of them. I'm really low. I'm really low. Oh, how did I miss that one? Three out front. Four, five out front on the left. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Go, straight out. Good shooting. You got three. That's better. Flip. We got two breaking in, get ready. Two breaking in, there's two on the ground. Okay, straight out, on the left, on the left, on the left.
Those are really hot. Holy smokes! I didn't they're, see those coming. They're coming. I those three, the first three. I didn't see them. They landed. Okay, get ready. Yep. They're on the left. They're gonna do it. Ready? I'll call them further out. Ready? On the left. Go straight out. Straight out. Straight out. Get that left one. Oh. That would have been all of them. Oh, you got three <laughs> out of the four. <laughs> they're gonna right be tight side. on the. Tight on the right. Get ready. Go, go straight out. Good shot. Those shots are fun. Those Definitely. are fun. <laughs> that is a oh, blast. Oh, oh, don't move, don't move. Reload, 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 reload. Go, go, go straight out, straight out. <laughs> let's run out there. You guys, let's go out and collect real fast, real fast. You guys do the left side. Okay, do a count, please, what you have. Yeah, I've got five. Can I make it to the bush, too? Ready? Kill him, go. Nice shot, guys. <laughs> I wanted to stay. Okay, reload, reload, reload. Oh, on the left, on the left. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Go, 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 go. Straight out, straight out. Right there. So what? Three out of that? Two. They're coming screaming in. I gotta call them way out there. Especially those pintails. So I'll start calling them out further. Or I'll move Robo ducks out, but we'll just play it by ear here. I'll call them way earlier. Big flight up top. Big flight up top. Just don't move. Let them work around. They're breaking our. Just leave them. Let them go around. Oh, we got a single coming straight in. Get ready. Get ready. Go straight out. Go straight out. On the left a little bit. There you go. Yeah, that helps. I'll call him way out. Yeah. There. Yeah. Good deal. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, for sure. Help moving robos a little bit. Sorry, man. Just those sprigs, they come in just too damn fast. You know it's a good day when your barrel's hot. <laughs> oh yeah. Keeping yeah. you warm. <laughs> Four of them on the right. Get ready, get ready, get ready, you guys. Get ready, straight out on the left. Go low on the left. <laughs> Big flight out front. Get ready. Big flight out front. Don't move, don't move. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. On the left. Go on the left. Holy moly. One? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> that one. You guys started out so well. You started out not bad. You got better. Now you're going back downhill. I know. What's going on? You're supposed oh. to get better as the morning progresses. We're not going to make your job easy. No, I see that. <laughs> They're coming up with the pipe. Get ready. <laughs> on the left. Go on the left. Good shot. Okay, yeah, we got uh, birds working, guys. Close that blind. We got three dropping in. <laughs> Big flights on the right dropping in. Keep that sun out of your face. If you got to put your hat down or whatever. Big flight straight out. They're high though. They're going to do it. Looks like it. Just keep that sun out of your face. You see the birds are straight out. <laughs> There's three dropping in on the right. Yep. Go on the right, on the right, on the right. Come on! Finally, there you go. One, two. <laughs> yeah, I thought he was getting I was away. patient on that one, but man. For one How many ducks do we got about? I got 26 on the clicker. It was pretty accurate, so. Well, then it's six per person? Eight. Eight? Oh, They're about 32. Right, four times eight. Yeah. Oh, on the right, on the right, on the right. Get ready, you guys. Get ready. Straight out, straight out. On the left, on the left. Got 
two, three, three. Did you say go? I did. I did. I, I thought you did. I, yeah. You didn't hear me? I'll scream it. <laughs> no, no, go, I thought go, you did. Go, go, yes, go, go. I there comes a couple more. I thought there was, there was only going to be five. Wow, those ones. I, like, oh, I know, and then all of a sudden there's, there's a big time coming. Yeah. Didn't know which one to go for. Okay, pair on the right, coming in low. Ready, 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 up the pipe, go, straight out. Good shot. Right in front here. Two out front, you guys. Two on the left. They're coming up to get ready. Two, 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 go, straight out. On the left, get that one on the left. Oh, you there got you go. him. Okay. A single. Yeah. Go on the left. Right in the sun. Ready? Go kill him straight out. Out, 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 out. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Are you kidding me, Bryce? Canadian ducks are tough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he did. Look at it. He fell. He went down. That's it. Yeah, yeah straight out. <laughs> okay, let's do a quick cleanup. Three guys go and do a big sweep in front, behind. You got two far ones on the left. All right, well, that's a wrap. The boys shot really good this morning. We shot all our ducks, and we got, what, seven geese. So it turned out uh, more geese than I thought, which is a good bonus. So fun hunt. The ducks did it really nice, actually, right in the boys' faces, and uh, it was good. So the guys will go out tonight now and hopefully shoot the rest of their geese. and. We had a special guest this morning as well too, John, graciously let us in this morning, Great letting time. us hunt it. Yeah, it was fun. Thanks, and uh, we'll go from there. So hope everybody had fun and Absolutely. first morning Thank hunt. You, yeah, good Thank job guys. Good, good job. job, right on. Good job. Cool. There you go guys, hope you had a good time. Take the guns out, everything, who knows what's happening. You can put all your gear in the boot room here. Guns in the boot room, just so you know where it is. What a great morning. Yeah. Yeah, baby. That is style. <laughs> <laughs>